Hi there, this is Dana. In this video, I'm going to be doing a quick introduction and sort of review of this book here called Cruel Intentions by Hazel Blumkamp. She's a South African designer, and as you can see, her work is stunning. I'm actually working on this project here, but I'll show you that in just a moment. So this book is published by Search Press. They do a whole bunch of different uh, craft books and art books and things like that. They're all really high quality, and I wanted to do this quick review. I'm not going to be flipping through the whole book because that'll Obviously, will breach the copyright of the book, but um, I wanted to give you a quick sort of mini overview of it just because I know how hard it is sometimes when you're buying books online or you see something really cool online and you want your local bookstore to order it for you and you haven't seen it. I know sometimes it's a little tricky to know sort of like what the quality of the photos are like, the instruction, things like that. So I wanted to do this with a couple of the books that I own and give you a quick rundown of them and let you know whether I think uh, they will be valuable to you as a stitcher or a crafter. And yeah, so this one is the one I started, decided to start with because it's amazing. So like I said, Hazel is from South Africa. She sells her patterns on her own site. Now this book does come with some patterns and I'm going to show you some quick overviews of some of them. She also sells kits. I'm going to show you. So so for this one here, it's called Pertinacity. So I got like a floss kit. I've obviously started using it. I got some needles, as you can see here. I got a nice little needle pack. It's got all the needles you're going to need. And I got some different kinds of bobbins and flosses and things like that. All kinds of really cool stuff. Here's the project I'm working on. So as you can see here, here's some needle weaving. I'd never done needle weaving before, but it's really fun. It turns out this uh, particular instruction I misread. That's my fault. So, but I'm just gonna roll with it because I think it looks cool. Um, here's a section that I've done already here. So you can see that it came out super nice. And it's really neat too. I'm not sure if you can quite see it, uh, but it's got some really, pretty metallic threads running through sections of it as well, which is really, really nice. So she teaches you how to do all these stitches. So I'll show you that in the book. And as you can see, it's got the printed fabric, which you can get as well. You are ordering them from South Africa, though, if you do want to get the full kit. So sometimes she has them in socks. Sometimes I think she's making more of the printed fabrics. And uh, so, yeah, you will have to pay for shipping and, and potentially duties from South Africa, but it is well worth it. So I really enjoyed this book. I think Hazel's got a really lovely, um, here's the project here. It's called Pertinacity. It's just beautiful. Um, she's got a really lovely way of writing. Like, it's very easygoing, very friendly, uh, actually quite funny as well. Like, there were sections I was cracking up. But you've got a nice overview of this. So, Cruel Work is most commonly associated with Jacobean era. So, you've got lots of interesting things here, like different tips and whatnot. Picture of one of the projects materials, your tools, and then it comes to the stitch gallery. So there's like pages and pages and pages of this kind of stuff. So all the stitches that are listed in the instructions, she teaches you how to do them, including like the needle weaving and needle lace and things like that, which I had never done before, which is super cool. Here's some of the needle weaving. Super, super, super interesting. Here's another section of the pertinacity. One, I believe that's actually the section that I've already done there. So it's super interesting. But you can see, like, the details in the uh, instructions are amazing. So, like, each, you know, each leaf section has, like, 20, 30 instructions, which is incredible. And she gives you a lot of tips, a lot of information about the different flosses you're going to need, things like that. I decided to get the floss kit just because I thought it was easier than sourcing all the flosses myself. So you can see that. So there's that panel there. Just beautiful. One thing I will say is a minor... I don't even want to say it's a con because, I mean, it's not really. Um, but, like, say, for example, like, in the back of the book, she actually has some really cool resources for, say, um, which stool that she's used to get this mounted on, which um, tray that she's, she's used in some of the projects to get projects mounted into and occasionally obviously uh things go out of stock or they're just not made anymore so like the stool is no longer being made anymore the company is making a similar one but it's not quite as ornate as this one so i mean that's going to be an issue uh if you want to 
reproducer projects exactly like using the exact same uh, bases that she's used for some of them. But you can see the details are just absolutely stunning. You don't have to have know, know anything about cruel work to do this. Like she teaches you everything you need to know. This one here is just beautiful. And of course you can frame things, you can do them in cushions or however you would like to, um, to uh, frame them, display them, whatever you like. There's lots of options. Just beautiful. And of course you're learning so much as you're going through these projects as well. You know, another minor con is now you're going to end up with all these beautiful whips to do. You know, if you get really inspired, they are pretty amazing. So that's the Cruel Intentions book. If you've ever wanted to try cruel work and you weren't quite sure where to start, this is a good one to start with just because the projects are really lush and luxurious looking, but they are doable. Like the only uh, minor thing I found with one of the, a couple of the steps sometimes is like, you'll be going through the steps for one, say one section of a leaf, and then say the last three steps, you actually have to wait until you do the next leaf next to it in order to go back and finish that, and sometimes that's not super clear when that happens, but I've just started making little notes in the pages myself so that I know when to come back to to that particular last few steps, because sometimes there's like little sections where you are overlaying stitches across two different sections that are taught in separate sections in the book, or like in that pattern section of the book. Uh, which is which is fine. I mean, it's just it's just uh, the way it was uh, put together. It makes sense once you kind of go through it, but uh, that was something I was kind of a little bit stumped by at first. But other than that, it's amazing. The instructions are amazing. The photography is obviously amazing, and I really really enjoyed it. So I hope you do too. Uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description for Hazel's site so you can check out her patterns and books. Of course, you can buy her books through her site as well um, and get her kits and whatnot. And also, uh, I'm going to put a link to her book through Amazon. I'm actually an Amazon influencer, so I've got my own sort of mini shop on Amazon so you can see other books and stuff that I've recommended and be a link directly to this book as well. They are affiliate links, so I mean, I get a little bit of a, a commission if people buy through those links, but you know, you don't pay anything extra for that. So, I hope you've enjoyed this, and let me know if you buy the book and if you start working on any of the projects. Have a good day! Happy stitching!